Welcome back, Hunters. I'm the Survival of this, and we return to Cabela's Big Game Hunter 2005 Adventures. We're back beside, uh, Kuchiching Lodge? I'm trying to remember what it's called. Uh, yeah, Kuchiching Lodge, and we're working through the Grassland, uh, region some more, and we've got quite an interesting roster of animal tags to go through this week. Or this weekend, I should say. We've got one grizzly bear tag, two coyote tags, and a cougar tag. So this is going to be all about uh, predators for this week, and thankfully we're pretty well equipped to deal with it. Now, I've got the predator call in hand, we've got a first aid kit in case we do need. We're going to be using the 300 bolt action with us for this next few things, and the compound bow as well as the ground blind. So all in all, we should have enough stuff to deal with anything we come across. And I'm pretty sure we have the rifle already sighted, sighted in, so I think all we really have to do is uh, find the way to Shining Prairie, and we can begin our hunts. Now, because we have the individual tags for the Grizzly and the Cougar, this might be a pretty quick weekend of hunting. Like, I might try using the compound bow again on them, just as a little bit of a way to change things up from being too simple with the rifle. But I'm not expecting it to be super, super long unless there's like, uh, like one of the secondary objectives is really specific what we have to do for them. But overall, we'll keep working through the grasslands, see how much longer this region is, and then we'll just be down to only two left to go for Cabela's 2005. I've definitely enjoyed my time with the series, and to be honest, with how long it's been running, I don't actually know what I'll be doing afterwards. So I'm kind of grateful that I'll have a fair bit of time to try to sort out what the next series I'll slot into uh, the weekend will be. But let's try for the Shining Prairie, which I think is going to be Grizzly Bear first. I think that's kind of how the game has done it, is the order of the tags you see from left to right here is kind of how you'll encounter the animals. So Grizzlies might be our first encounter, but we'll have to see. And just let it load in and see what it does say this region has in store. Now, because of it being... The predator species we're after, I'm not really going to know which ones are like the better scoring individuals. It's probably going to be a case of just taking whatever we can. So let's see, what does it say we're going after here? Oh, okay, we're actually starting off with the coyotes. I guess it kind of is a little bit of an easier target to go for than dropping you in and saying your first hunt is for a grizzly bear and then go for like little coyotes next. But one thing about this area for hunting is because the coyotes are... I don't think the coyotes really have their own unique model. I think it's just like a, a reuse of like the wolf models that the game has used. But with how low to the ground they are, it might be a little tricky coming across or spotting them. Unless we have like really high ground looking down towards them. But we'll see how things go, see what weapon we use for it. I do have the compound bow, which, I mean, I do like trying to get used with it. It just helps change up the variety, and it's just always an easy rifle shooting for the game. I could see you really going much faster with uh, Cabela's if you just took the rifle with you on every hunt and used it. But, the bit of an archery nut that I am, I would like to just switch it up every now and then. The one thing about this region is it is so dense with grass is that we're just having natural full stealth as we're walking about through it. So the only thing we have to figure out is where the coyotes might be. As much as I would like to try the archery a bit today, I might have to wait till the next region, just because I do not know uh, how well that is going to go trying to spot anything in all this dense grass. Like, it's not bad hunting these maps when you're going after things like pronghorn, whitetail, or elk, because they're tall enough to stand mostly above the grass. But with how short the coyotes are, they're probably going to be hidden very, very well in here. Might actually have to wait and... Actually, there's something interesting about this map. Because it does have, like, this river running through the middle, I don't know if they, the animals would cross that. I don't know if there's like a bridge for us we have to go across, or it's shallow enough we can just walk across it, but... No, actually, you know what, from the looks of it, it looks deep enough the animals might not cross it, so... I might have to see how we'll handle this. Let's 
Now, so this is a good place for... I'm kind of tempted to... F I should try just, like, getting down into the middle there. Set up the blind. And try, like, some calls and just see if we can bring something in. The only issue I have with that is I have no idea... Even general direction right now to where we could find anything. Like, again, it is just... Super, super dense for all the uh, grass and that here. And, okay, I do have plenty of time for today, so I don't have to worry about the uh, hunting curfew. You know what, I'm going to quickly just get across the river. Because... I didn't really... I mean, I shouldn't say I didn't hear or see anything on that side, but the thing is... Ah, uh, we won't really get calls or that coming in. So yeah, I've got to try to figure out the best means of this. It might be that I'll have to use the, uh... The animals get pushed into a corner and work off of that tactic. Okay, so the camp area is right over there. Um, we might get lucky if I just keep going a little bit further on foot. We might be able to see something, or the binoculars will pick something up. Truth be told, I'm probably going to have to rely on them. But we'll just keep going a little bit and see. No, oh, actually, I also have to try to figure out, too, if there are any secondary objectives, because we haven't had anything go off yet about them. And there's not like there's another small area to go off to. So I wonder if this will be one of the regions where the focus is just get your animals and then move on to the next. There have been a number of uh, regions that haven't actually had any secondary objectives to them. Yeah, I've got nothing come out up for uh, binoculars seeing anything. No, oh, or I thought I heard something. I don't know exactly what, but now I don't know if there's like. I can't shoot in the vicinity of the camp area, or I can. I know there's like a little bit in the regulations about shooting near a building or something like that, but I think I can be free to use the rifle around here. Yeah, I'm just going to get the scent cover again, because thankfully we can stand here. We're stealthy enough. We shouldn't be picked up as long as we stand still and look around, but... God, I cannot see anything in this. Like, I hear the odd sound, almost like something is stepping around. But I can't narrow down direction. And nothing is popping up as I'm looking through the binoculars for it, either. And going from the map... Uh, yeah, I am... Yeah, this is going to be a tough one to do. I think I am going to just rely entirely on the rifle here. Because I don't know if I would be able to... Ooh. I don't know if I'd be able to see anything as it might be coming in. Like, I got lucky and had... 
Yeah, there's apparently a coyote over there. Not that I can really, like, make out any shapes, it's just the binoculars picked her up for a moment. I'll see about trying to get a little closer. I don't know if she's actually, like, near enough to be called in, or is picking up from really far. But, I mean, ordinarily, I think you would probably want to try going for, like, the male individuals to get better scores, but... Again, map like this where I can barely make out... ...anything. I think I'm just going to have better luck taking the two I need for the tags, and then we'll move along. Because, yeah, they're... Okay, now I'm picking her up from... Somewhere over there, I think I'm... Gosh, see, like, there's a little dot or a little thing that goes left and right, but I don't know if it's actually, like, the animal or it's just, like, the way the plant is swaying. But it is super difficult trying to even... ...get any reading from this. I think all I can really do is sit here for a while, I at least, like, have some possible hint towards one, and see if I can call her in towards me. Maybe I can see a bit of color appear through all this green, and then we can try taking it. Oh, I actually heard a call. I shouldn't say it's actually a call. I think it's just like a bit of ambient... There we go. Ambient noise that they've given to the animals to, uh... Give you some indication how close you're getting to them, but... As much as we saw her... Okay, yeah, I guess she spotted me in the grass, and now I have no idea where she went. She was running up this way, but this is going to be a real challenge. Okay, it does say she might have gone this way, but I don't, I feel like I actually have to try to get them to go towards the river, just so that way I have, like, clean visibility for where I'm actually trying to aim and shoot. But with how deep it was, it might be that certain ones of, or they might be stuck on, like, whatever half they've spawned in on. Okay, just above her. Or above it. I don't actually know if it's a male or a female. But yeah, this is going to be rough going. I was hoping this would be a nice quick start in episode, but... The vegetation is going to make this a challenge just to see anything. It is the case where I almost want to try provoking an attack. Just so that way I can actually see the animal as it's coming at us. Oh, 
Now use a bit of scent cover. Stand around for a minute and just see if I can spot anything again. Ah, that doesn't look like it. You know what? I might actually go back to the strategy I thought. Oh, I think that was just to her shoulder. Again, I can just hear rustling in the bush, and if I'm lucky, I'll see it running away. So you know what? I might go back to the strategy I thought of, and see if I can draw them, like, towards the river. I don't know if it'll actually work, because I don't know if it'll be in range, but... I feel like I'm at a big disadvantage if I try to stay in the middle of the grass and call them to me. Uh, one of the problems is I... Because of how loud the water ambience is, I'm not going to hear much through it. Uh, I wonder if I should have gone for a hunting tower instead on this map. At least give me a little bit of elevation above everything. Rather than trying to be like in the middle of it too. I found, well, I shouldn't say I found, but we know there's one on this half of the map already. I haven't actually seen any others. And if it has been a different one, they've all been females I've spotted. So it might be that some are on the other side of the river. Or maybe we just haven't, like, s uh, gone far enough to, like, Uh, I heard it, but I'm not entirely sure the direction of it. I think it was... Okay. I'm hearing it from this direction. We spotted it through the binoculars. But again, it... Yeah, I'm just sticking to the rifle. I, I'm admitting complete defeat if I were to try with the bow. Big challenge here is just find an open enough spot. That I can try for a shot. I heard the call and spotted it this direction, but now... Nothing seems to be around here. Again, there are these almost sounds like something is stepping nearby us, but I can't hone in on the direction. Maybe I'll have to try going up the hill and seeing if maybe the higher elevation helps us.
Oh yeah, I... Okay, where am I on? Okay, so I'm getting towards like some of the peaks and hills of the maps at actually truthfully told I might actually have hit that. Yeah, so what do I do from here? I don't have anything I'm seeing in the uh, binoculars, so I don't really know of a direction to focus on. As much as I could try calls, we don't hear the animals until they're super close, so it could well just be a waste of time working at that. Like, if this was another hunting game, I would be more inclined to use the calls and set up in the river like I mentioned, just because I think they would have a wider range of effectiveness, and I could actually maybe hear the calls replied back as I draw something in. But with how Cabela's is for its age, the only time you'll hear the animals make noise is when you're in a certain distance from them. Yeah, this is... God, it's like a needle in a haystack, but I guess it's a coyote in a field is another way to put it. Okay, I've tried on this side of the river. I've only had the one that we've kind of spotted. So I'm going to go back across the other side and see if maybe I can find some more. Like, I know I didn't see any on the other side of the river, but there's got to be... A few more animals that are on this map. I wonder if that's why they didn't put a secondary objective on here, is because they kind of knew we might be in for a little bit of a rough go looking for the coyotes on here. Yeah, so I've got some distance I can go... Nothing there. I thought maybe, but it's just the way the uh, color on the one plant was. My god, though. Okay, they really made the water ambience like just a drowning out of how strong it is. But. Okay, so I'm kind of towards the end of this stretch of the map. I haven't heard anything running off or around, so I don't know. If... My guess is there's nothing over here. I've not seen any movement out over on that side either. So I might have to just try running up to the other end of here and seeing. But this... I... think maybe the hunting tower would have been a better idea. I don't know if the other two maps will be quite as bad as this. But I am kind of leaning if I can get the coyote still... today. Oh god, see... yeah, so much time has already been gone. As we've just been trying to get any idea of... What are you even try focusing on? That's what I think I will do, is we'll try for the coyotes, once we get them, I'll go back to Kuchiching Lodge, 
grab a hunting tower instead of the hunting blind, and then head back out. I mean, as much as the grizzly bear and the... Not so much the cougar for its size, but the grizzly bear might be bigger that a map like this wouldn't be as bad going for them. But with how the cougars are, I think it would help having that elevation too of the tower. And truth be told, until I do harvest a coyote, I don't think it'll actually let me leave this region to go change out my gear. It's not the animals themselves are challenging, it's not the weapons that are hard to work with, it is the environment for Cabela's. Oh, there's actually a waterfall up there. And I admit, I am really surprised we've not, like, spotted more coyotes in the distance for that. Okay, well, at least there's one. I mean, it is why I did want to make sure we had the health kit with us. And this was a male. Six years old, 23 pounds, score 23. That record makes the high scores list. Okay, good news is I can use the med kit, get us patched up a bit. And yeah, that's kind of what I figured. Ooh. Rolling Hills is about to have a hunting tournament. Perhaps you'd like to participate. Okay, now, uh, here's my question. Do I stay out here, try for a second Coyote 2 with the tag? Or do we just kind of accept we've gotten the one, and it might not be worth it spending too long on these guys because of how this map is for its, like, layout? I was like, I didn't even realize there was one over here. And we basically just got an attack because we annoyed it so much, we pushed into a corner, I think. You know what? That's what I am going to do. I'm going to not worry about a coyote for the rest of this episode. I'll just get back, grab the hunting tower instead. I'll grab another first aid kit because it might be helpful to have. And then we'll come back out with the uh, hunting tower and try to go after the other animals. Because, yeah, this map is horrible for trying to spot stuff in. I think the only map that was worse than this was the one where we were in the forest trying for the moose. And that one just had, again, super dense foliage, very difficult to see through any of it. And yeah, back to Coochiching for now. I wish I could say we got a little bit more done for how long we were out there, but it's just how it sometimes goes. And at least that gives me better preparation for hopefully these other two areas we'll be going off to. So yeah, let me just stop in here. I might as well rest while we're at the lodge again, too, so we have the full day ahead of us. I'll just give it a moment to load on in. Do, 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 do. There we go. Okay, room, equipment. Yeah, ground blind, go back. And we want a hunting tower. Tripod stand. There we go. Alright, and now let me just go back to the store, pick up the new health kit. There we go. Actually, let me just quickly check through. Yeah, nothing. Okay, just making sure. And let's rest... Uh, do, 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 do. Twelve, and then I think we want about seven hours. Uh, let's go for that. <laughs> 
And I think that should put us like 7.30, which will give us some time to get out to the area. Yeah, so we're good to end this episode of Cabela's right here for today. Thank you guys very much for joining me on this episode of the series. If you liked the video, be sure to give a like. And if you have any comments, tips, or tricks, be sure to in the comments right down below. Until I see you all next video episode, Hunters and Survivors, please remember, as always, to take care, stay alive, and happy hunting.